Hey everyone, and welcome to part 27 of our playthrough of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy. So in our last part, we actually lost to Imakuni. So the first thing I want to do, every time you start the game up from power off, he'll appear somewhere. In one of, I believe, four clubs. I forgot I could run there. I forget which four they are. I think Lightning and Fighting are two of them. Ah, there's the music again! And there he is back in the corner. This time I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna switch to, I guess, my best deck. Let's go ahead and talk. basic Pokemon. All right, let's try this again. All right, this time I get a Scyther. I'm going to play second. So Drowsy's going to do 40 damage to itself because it is weak to its own type and you do damage in this version. But just in case it gets another Pokemon, let's go ahead and use Swords Dance. We got a Farfetch on the bench. Oh no, I take 10 damage. Alright, we'll play Hitmanchan on the bench. Now let's go ahead and slash. Alright! Well, Yumikuni's making it easy for me this time. Another Scyther. That should get me out of any case where uh, Scyther gets confused for some reason, should that happen. Let's start powering up Hitmanchan. See, I don't need to do any plus powers here because All right, let's finish this up on this turn. I should have two plus powers. I do. out Drowsy. He has no Pokemon left. And we win this time! Usually this is how it goes. It's usually pretty easy to beat him, but in the last time you may have noticed I got all tails, he got all heads. Don't tell anyone he lost. So we're gonna get actually four booster packs out of this deal.
So you notice these are all four of the main sets in both Cards and Dance, Soul and Rhythm of the Secret. Maybe I'll become a poet. So if you beat him a couple times, which I may show you later, you actually can get uh, one of his Imakuni promotional cards for what it's worth, which is, would be novelty value. In any case, let's take a look at our status. So you may remember we have six badges, or medals, I should say, is what they're called in this game. So we have uh, two left. Let's see, one is the Water Gym, which I think I'll tackle next. And the last one is the Science Gym, which is kind of odd. Obviously that doesn't correspond to any type, but there are only seven. So you'll notice there is no uh, Colorless Gym. Anyway, let's go to Water Club. The deck we have, yeah, it's kind of broken, but uh, at least it'll get us through. So you notice there's a pool here. Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Wonderful to duel in a place like this. I guess I'd like to duel Amanda. Lonely Friends deck. That's interesting. So we're going to start out with the Hitman Chan. Three prizes. This is one of the very few uh, less than four prize games. This is actually three prizes. So we start out against the Scyther. This is going to be tough. Hmm. Well... Pretty sure in this version of the game, Plus Tower is actually after Weakness and Resistance, even though it really should be before, which means it should allow me to get at least 10 damage, provided I can get a Fighting. Of course, not in the trading card in that game, that's just, those are just put into play, if I remember correctly. Play a couple Bill, which means even if I switched Pokémon, I'd still be okay. Still got an energy removal, so hopefully I'll do okay here. And an Electabuzz. So unfortunately, I think there's a switch, or at least a scoop up in this deck, but unfortunately I couldn't seem to get one. Let's go ahead and put a double colorless energy on Hitmonchan, so we can retreat it. I could have put a fighting there, but I'm pretty sure that was kind of silly of me if I'm wrong. But, uh, in-play area... I'll have to check plus power next turn after I discard it. But anyway, let's just retreat and bring up Scyther. Uh, let's not retreat there. Let's check... in... your play area. Your discard pile. No, they're still attached to Hitman Jam. What am I looking in there for? Now well, we can't attach another energy, so we're just gonna have to finish our turn there. Alright, well, let's put this energy removal to use. Put that on Electabuzz. And retreat for Electabuzz. And let's do a Thundershock. Nope. No paralysis, but... There's the scoop up. That would have been good. Put in our Lightning Energy, and now we can use Thunder Punch. Remember, this is, if we get a Heads, we do 40 damage. Tails, we do 30, but we do 10 to ourselves. Ah, crud. Well... Oh, Potion. Another one! Well, 
I guess we gotta put, since Hitmanchan won't be able to do damage for a while, and I don't have another Lightning Energy, let's put another Energy on Scyther. Let's attack with a Thunder Punch. Another 10 to myself. Hopefully it doesn't have a double colorless, because then it can knock Electabuzz out. Let's see, computer search. Well, let's see. You know what? Let's just go for another Professor Oak. There should be another one in the deck. Obviously, there's also the new Professor Juniper card, which is very similar to Professor Oak. And I think I've gotten about 18 packs of black and white, and I have yet to get one. Which is why you didn't see a scan of it in my uh, any of my videos from the pre-releases. Pre yep, no space on the bench, so we have a full bench. Another energy on Scyther, and hopefully we get a heads here, because then that knocks out and I win the game. All right! Our opponent has no bench Pokémon. I think I'll choose a different deck for the next one. We get Mystery. And we get Raichu. It's the Fossil Raichu. And, of course, since Articuno is in the cover, you would expect us to get Articuno at some point in the packs. So here's a card called Pokémon Center. It says, remove all damage counters from all of your own Pokémon with damage counters on them, then discard all energy cards attached to those Pokémon. Those Pokémon only. So this was used with the base Alakazam and had damage swap, which also came back recently. And what you would do is you get a Chansey or some other high HP Pokemon, move all your counters there, uh, play Pokemon Center, and what you do is you make sure there's no energy on the Chansey so you wouldn't lose any energy cards that way. And basically the point was to stall your opponent out until they ran out of cards in their deck and lost. Losing kind of destroys the atmosphere of this place. Well, with that, that's uh, two games. I think that'll do it for part 27. Stay tuned to, for part 28, where we continue to take on the Water Club.